Hello and welcome to another episode with the Toronto Dog Whisperer. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make the transition from kibble to raw. By the end of this video, you are going to have the information that you need to make the best decision for you and your dog. Just want to say a really big thank you to everybody who clicked on this video, everybody who subscribed, and everybody who's hit that like button. It does really help a lot. So if you do enjoy this video and you find it informative, please consider giving it a like and a share. And if you're really keen, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Before we get started today, I just want to remind everybody to be skeptical. Make up your own mind in terms of what is going to work best for you, your own dog, and your own personal situation. So let's get to it. So you've made the decision to go from kibble to rock. Congratulations. Maybe you're just trying it for the first time. Maybe you've tried it before and this is going to be your permanent decision. Either way, when you're making the transition from kibble to raw, there's two main approaches that you can take and I'm going to cover both of those today. If your dog is on a kibble diet and you're moving to a raw diet, they're probably used to eating the exact same thing every single meal, every single day from the same manufacturer probably out of the exact same bag. So one thing that's really important to consider is that your dog is on a mono diet, meaning they eat the exact same thing every single day, every single meal. So their digestive system is going to be extremely sensitive to changes. So making the transition from kibble to raw may seem a little bit intimidating on the surface, but in reality, it's much, much easier than what you think. Kibble is a lot more difficult to digest than a raw diet. So that transition from going from kibble to raw is actually quite easy. There's two main approaches that you can take. One is to mix your current diet, which is your kibble, and add in about 25% of the new raw diet every single week for about four weeks, going from 25 to 50, then to 75%, and then making the transition complete with 100% raw. Now, that's a very valid approach, and it's a good strategy, and a lot of people do it. The approach comes from the, the transition that people make going from one brand of kibble to another to make sure their dog's stomachs don't get too upset. One of the challenges with the mix-up approach is that these two diets are very different from each other and the kibble is going to digest at a much different rate than this beautiful raw diet. So mixing the two is going to create a little bit of turbulence in your dog's digestive system just because these two diets digest so differently. A different approach and the approach that I prefer myself, and this is just personal preference here, is going cold turkey. Now, when I say going cold turkey, I don't mean just switching willy-nilly, but when you're all prepared and you have all your raw diet for your dog for at least a couple weeks, then you can fast them. What is fasting? It is giving your dog's digestive system some time to clear itself out. So fasting between one diet and another diet is an excellent approach. You basically wait between 12 to 24 hours until you go from one diet to another. So the fasting approach is not going to hurt your dog in any shape or form. It's just going to give their digestive system time to process everything that they've eaten and to poop it out, basically, so that when you go to feed your dog raw, they don't have anything competing or digesting at different rates. This transition is probably the easiest and the least complicated simply because if you're measuring out two different diets and you're proportioning things differently, you have to keep track of which week you're on and how much food your dog is getting, so on and so forth, it can be quite confusing. So if you're going to go with the mixing approach, it's a lot more complicated. There's a lot more things to consider. One of the major things to consider is that kibble is measured by volume, meaning you pour how a certain amount of cups for each day, depending on your dog's weight and activity level and that kind of thing. 
So this is measured by volume, whereas raw is measured by weight. So because raw food is a lot more variable in its density, it has to be weighed out. So you measure a raw diet in pounds where you measure kibble in cups. So volume versus weight. That's why I really like the transition where you just switch from kibble to raw with a period of time in between to let your dog fast, let them clear out their system. That way when they get the new diet, there's nothing that's going to interfere or complicate things. Now when you're going to make the transition from a mono diet like kibble to a beautiful raw diet like this spark diet that I prepared for my dogs, one of the big things that you have to understand is that it's a big change. You're going from a processed, highly concentrated, dense, dehydrated type of food and you're <laughs> you're going basically to the opposite end of the spectrum. That's a very, very big jump for your dog's system. So understand that there can be a certain period of time where their stomachs are a little bit more sensitive. So if your dog is experiencing problems, if they're throwing up a little bit, if they're having some loose stool, don't panic. It's part of the transition. It usually goes away within a few days. Keep in mind, when a dog goes from a mono diet where they eat the exact same kibble every single day for every single meal, and they see this, they see a beautiful raw diet sitting in front of them, they're gonna be very excited. The two are very different. It's like seeing a chicken McNugget or a fish stick and then comparing it to a beautiful fresh piece of fish or a beautiful fresh piece of chicken that has been prepared in a very simple way. So they're gonna be very excited. So don't worry if they eat too quickly, try to slow them down, definitely monitor them while they're eating and the transition should be pretty straightforward. This type of transition, going from kibble to raw, is fairly easy. I haven't experienced any problems myself. The people that I've advised on their raw diets haven't had any problems either, but a few people do. If your dog experiences problems, it's probably not the transition alone that's causing the problems. It's usually because of these nasty bad boys. So. These are some uh, treats that have been processed, okay? These are store-bought treats that any regular dog may eat with a kibble. Now, because these two products are relatively the same in terms of they're very highly processed, they're very much concentrated, they're cooked, everything here is ground up, to a pulp where it's unrecognizable from its raw ingredients. Very, very similar to a kibble. Now, these two types of processed foods are pretty much the same in terms of your dog's digestion. When you compare a processed treat to a raw diet, it's very different. So those two can cause issues with each other. So when you're thinking about your dog's diet, make sure you take into consider everything they're eating, table scraps, food that they get in their regular diet, treats, things that they would normally eat, whatever they're eating in the span of a day or a span of a week is their complete diet. So it's not just the kibble or the raw that they're eating. When you mix in those other factors, that's usually what causes the problems, but it's not always what causes the problems. So it's definitely something to consider. So my personal opinion when it comes to making this transition from kibble to raw is once you go to raw, you should keep everything else raw as well. So nothing processed with the raw. Keep everything consistent. That way when your dog is eating their raw diet, it's digesting at the same rate as any treats. So if you're looking for some healthy treats to go with your raw diet, it's gonna be vastly different from the treats that you give your dog with a kibble diet. 
So what is your favorite transition? What has your experience been going from a kibble to a raw diet? Leave a comment below. Let everybody know the sharing of information does help the community quite a lot. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy making this content for you. So if you do have any questions, please leave a comment. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And till next time, if you love your dog, boom, take them for a walk. Take care, I'm out.